brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. An independent investigation is now underway by the Public Safety Oversight Chairperson, Senator Talina Nelson. We cannot act, act as such and we cannot take things lightly, especially when the public is at harm. At issue is whether the Department of Corrections Disciplinary Hearing Board properly investigated this incident that was caught on camera. That video shows inmate Alex Castro with a woman he knew at the GCC campus back in April. Clips show the inmate allegedly assaulting the woman, exposing himself and engaging in sexual acts. The entire incident played out over a three-hour period, with corrections officers nowhere in sight. The timeline and that he was left unattended uh, causes great concern for us. The board has since sanctioned Castro for the incident. He's since been suspended from the educational program, and the college is reviewing the program agreement currently in place with the prison. But the disturbing video has caused public concern. Many question whether or not prison leadership did enough to rectify the problem. Regardless of whether the woman feel, presses any charges, you, you see... Uh, Several violations there already. Strangulation is is a is a felony, felony I believe, and uh, uh, you see like domestic violence um, in the videos. There's indecent exposure, aggravated assault, and so even though the woman does not want to press any charges, these are very evident that it occurred, and the law enforcement personnel need to address this appropriately and not try to sweep it under the rug. On Monday, DEPCOR Director Tony Lamarena said the inmate was punished. He's since been moved back to the halfway house at the direction of warden Alan Borja. But Senator Nelson says there's definitely a gap in the prison's investigation. Yes, you're supposed to rehabilitate, but you're also to, you're also, it is also your duty to ensure that the community is protected. And if you leave inmates unattended for, for three hours, then you're not doing your job right. The senator said she is working to get the Guam Police Department and Attorney General's office involved as well. For the time being, an internal affairs investigation at DOC is ongoing. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.